Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Insurgence Randomizer Nuzlocke. This is part 51 in this episode. We are here, continuing our challenge against the Timeless in the Timeless Cavern. Last episode we did go ahead to take down three of the Timeless with their Mega Evolutions with their crazy teams. With their Mega Delta Mega God of War Delta Mega Glade combo, which was kind of nice to see. But this episode we are going to be taking down the final few of the Timeless and then their leader. So... For now, we're going to continue going as we were. We're going to basically just go through this thing clockwise because I started doing it, so why not? King Vezrin. Are you the leader? Are we going to be able to battle you straight away? I don't know. Because my thought process was that he was the leader. I don't know if he's here. Let's find out. Hello again, Carlos. I suppose it's time to introduce myself. My name is King Vezrin. I suppose he is one of the Timeless then. Not the leader of the Timeless. I thought he was the leader. Uh, but okay. I founded two regions, one very, very far away, named after me, as well as Toron itself. I'm definitely the oldest person here. I tamed the, the Wilderlands of the planet into a glorious region with my own two hands. That's kind of impressive. But never you mind that. Let's get going, shall we? We can actually battle him? We can, in fact, battle him. Okay. Now I have to think about who the leader might be. Steven definitely isn't the leader. Because if he was, Cynthia wouldn't have just been like, yeah, we kind of gave the crystal to Adam. And then, you know, that wouldn't have happened. So who is the leader? It's just Rabbit again. <laughs> Rabbit's the champion and the leader. He's, he's both. He does everything, you know? <laughs> that would be so annoying. Charge Beam does a lot of damage, though. But we don't get a boost. But another Charge Beam might take him out. But I probably shouldn't. We know two Discharge is going to take him out. Why not? I'm absolutely fine, I'm just going for two discharges. We don't need the boost. Odds are, a Pokemon's going to come in here that's probably going to have a good type matchup against me. So, doing this at least burns all his full restores, which is nice, because that means that they're not available for the Delta. Not Delta, Mega. It's really confusing with this too. <laughs> After all this time, you think I'd be used to it, but I'm not. So, let's hope it's a Mega we haven't seen before on some of these guys. I really hope so. And, I do still want to get through this, without losing a Pokemon. If we have to lose a Pokemon, honestly, just don't let it be Reboot and we'll be fine. Okay, now that I've completely spoken up Reboot's death, that's a thing. Oh, Shaman's changed form. Yeah, yeah, that was gonna happen. That was gonna happen. At least it still has Air Slash for the coverage. It is Delta Lucario like I expected. Okay, I'm glad about that. It's a Mega Delta Lucario. Do we get to see the sprite? What is happening? What? Where? You're a little bit on the side. You're you you you're kind of close. You, <laughs> Why does this happen? Why does this happen? Why? What was that? What was that? What? How am I meant to take that? Was that good? I, uh, okay. Uh, Feebas, you're not scary. I can probably dazzle and gleam you. I. <sighs> We got to see the sprite, at least, for all of the, like, two seconds that it was on the screen. So there is that, I suppose. At least it didn't just go invisible. But that was all really buggy. Are you Delta Octillery? No, it's normal Octillery. Okay, well, you're gonna get Giga Drain. If you're bringing in this against me, you must be pretty desperate with your Pokémon against this Shaman. I feel like there's a lot of better choices than a Water-type, but okay. I am a little bit worried about running out of PP, but I do know for a fact that we have Ethers, so we do have that going for us. Donatello can get rid of an Uxie. Why wouldn't you bring in an Uxie before an Octillery against a Shaman? Is that... Maybe the King just thinks differently to us normal people, you know? Maybe he's just so smart, he can predict that I would over-predict and go for a move that wasn't super effective against this Octillery. Unlucky for him, I'm stupid. So I'm going to go for the obvious thing in front of me. I just outsmarted him with stupidity. Next level strats right there. Uxie goes down. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but Uxie goes down. We get a lot of XP, and Swirlix is the final Pokemon. Well, that's a terrifying thing to see when I have my Pokemon this four times a week to fairy in. Please don't hurt me. Please. Reboot, get in here and finish this. Uh, we should... Probably use Delta Venusaur at some point, because at the moment I feel like it's slacking. 
This is combined with the last episode as well. I feel like we need to use Delta Venusaur, its mega form, at least once in here. Just to make it so it actually has a use of having the Mega Stone. <laughs> not bad, kid. You're not bad at all. You just have to get through the rest of us now. I think I can do it. I believe, you know? I'm, I'm gonna be a positive person right now. I think we're gonna get through the Timeless. I'm just hoping for more Deltas and Megas that we haven't seen. I think we've seen almost every potential Delta. I don't think we've seen every Mega, that's for certain. Dawn! Dawn is here. You're not a champion. Why are you here? I have nothing against Dawn. But why Dawn? And not like Misty or Brock. You know? Someone that's been around longer, been in more episodes of stuff, been in more games. In a way, I'm kind of happy that it's Dawn. Because it's just unexpected. I don't know, it's weird. So you're this incredible trainer I've heard so much about, yeah? You don't look that impressive. Oh, I mean, I have pink hair and cat ears on. What is going to impress you? I died. Okay. When I was younger than you, I took down Team Galactic and even captured the Pokemon in control of space and time. Would she normally have Dialga and Palkia on her team? Because that would be crazy. I think you might be outmatched here. Good luck, though. Would she? Does she actually have them on her team? That's... It's not quite the Pokemon I was expecting to see. Um, <laughs> let's be talking about the Pokemon that controls space and time, and then you send out a a lavery remory that looks like it's got a little fart coming out of the back. But you know, it's just it's it's not the same kind of intimidation factor. You know, you're kind of you're lacking a little bit. Oh, Focus Sash though, Lava Plume. If you get the burn, that'll be annoying. Okay, you've annoyed me. Congrats. That's all you're gonna do though. You're gonna annoy me, and now you're gonna die to the Psychic. Good job. You did it. You won. You beat the game, I'm right? 10 out of 10. Why? <laughs> okay. We do get the special attack boost though, which is nice. Yeah, Mega... We could probably beat it pretty easily, but I kinda wanna go into glory and mix things up. Special attack boost is nice. It wasn't gonna hit us for anything super effective. But at the same time, eh, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. We have a Fire-type move here though, our only Fire-type move, and it's a custom move, which does kind of suck. I do wish we had something a little bit more. Uh, slash? Yeah, that's super effective, but what do you have Life for? Uh, do I want to full restore my Delta Venusaur? I'm going to go and not do that. Maybe that's a mistake, we'll see. If I need the Delta Venusaur later, that's a huge mistake, because I definitely got a free time to heal up just then. But I have high hopes. Another Fyraga should take him out. I kind of want to extreme speed and see if it takes him out, but I'm not too worried. Screech. Screech and Slash. Is this a physical Yan Mega? Is this level up moveset really more physical based? At least at the late game anyway. I know it definitely has moves like Bug Buzz and Air Slash, but late game does it not? That's kind of weird. Graveler wants to come in. Graveler, you're going to get hit by, like, any move and disappear. Any move at all. And I'm just going to make it surf to keep things simple. If it is Delta Graveler, we can still Earthquake. So we are good. It is Delta Graveler, and it is Rock Psychic type, despite looking like a Grass type. It's, just, it's, it's got moss on it, you know? It's just... Anytime I see green, I want to say it's a grass type, okay? It's simple. Alright, Dealing comes in. Dealing? Dealing. Dealing. What type is Dealing again? Normal grass? I know this. I know it's normal grass, right? Or is Dealing your normal? No, it's... No, no, it's definitely normal grass. I don't know why I'm having this thought in my head. Yeah, I do know it's typing. I don't know. I just... My mind blanked. It's simple. It happens. Get out of here, Dylan. Get out of here. You're not a Dialga, you're not a Palkia. What are you? Clampa. The normal Clampa. I... I... I kind of want to say Giga Drain for other things, but I'm just gonna F up after this match, and it'll be fine. We just restore our Giga Drains and our Earthquakes. That's it. That's all we need. Lopany. So this is probably the Mega. 
If it is Delta, I forgot what, what type it would be. I think if it's Delta, we would want to be in with Ivysaur. If it's normal, it's not scary. If it's Delta, it's very scary, so we should probably def- yeah, I'm definitely going into Venusaur. Okay. What type of Lopunny are you? You are a normal Lopunny, meaning you just become a fighting type? Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna full restore this turn and see what happens. Because I want to get rid of the burn so we don't have the, the ticking damage. And we'll see what happens. Return could hurt if it has a move like Return. Although it probably won't have Return because I doubt that there's friendship factor for the NPCs. Entrainment. So we now get Scrappy. I mean, it's not like our ability actually has any use for us because it requires us to take out a Pokemon. So I don't really mind. But, uh, Megalopony. Not the exciting fight I was hoping for. Oh well. It's fine. Wow, you're great. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> you were fantastic. If you could beat me, I'm sure you could take out the rest of us, no sweat. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead, use these Ephers and stuff. We will Ephor Giga Drain nice and simply. Uh, that was our last effort, but we have four elixirs, and I don't think there's going to be another time when we're going to need these elixirs, so I'm just going to restore PP and be good. Alright, let's go. The next battle, which is just down here. So we have both of these. Okay. Steven? Not Steven. N! Okay, that's a trainer I can understand being here. I can understand N being here. He's, he's, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You're the trainer that's supposed to take the August place. I see. Any powerful trainer can save a region. It says nothing about your character. Wow, okay, um, sure. But, your Pokémon. They can tell me things that no action can. So, let's begin. Let me hear the voices of your Pokémon. So we have one last timeless member, which is Steven, because we already know who that is. And you are going to send out Manectric to start off with. Okay. Manectric isn't going to do anything too crazy, so that's fine. We can just go for a Moonblast. It is Mega Manectric right off the bat. I didn't expect it to be Mega, because it was the first Pokemon sent out, but okay. Mega Manectric immediately. That makes me wish I'd gone for Calm Mind in a way, just so I could get the boost. But we're both gonna Mega Evolve right now. Battle of the Megas, let's go. Thunderbolt probably won't do too much. We have some pretty good special defense. I don't see it doing a whole lot. Thunder, on the other hand, will hit a lot harder. Still not half. Wow. Still not half of our health, even with a Thunder. That's kind of wild. Uh, we're probably both just going to full restore right here. Yeah, we're probably both going to full restore. I'm fine with that because I get rid of my paralyzation. So, sure. And honestly, I can just calm mind this turn because it's going to take two hits to take him out anyway. So, we may as well just calm mind. Charge. I'm very happy I went for calm mind. Okay. This next Thunder is gonna hurt. Oh, he got the special defense boost though, so this isn't gonna take him out. We'll see, it might. We have speed? Is he using raw? Raw. Didn't expect it. I'll give it that. I didn't expect it. Another extreme speed will actually take him out. That's a lot of damage. Roar. Okay. And we get affected by static. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks a little bit. Tyrantrum wants to come in though. Tyrantrum will absolutely be outsped by Ivy and we can just Moonblast. So sure. Shouldn't be too crazy. I, I wish there was a Mega Tyrantrum in the game. I really do. I think it would look awesome. I don't know. I just think it'd be an interesting idea for a Mega. Although, sadly, we've already seen the Mega, so it's not like it could Mega Evolve anyway, but, you know. Unless they do the double Mega thing, which can happen, apparently, you know. I'll just point that out again. <laughs> Mudkip. Not a Mudkip. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, not that. We don't need that level of strength here, okay? 
Why am I slightly afraid of bringing Reboot in against a Mudkip? Because it could have potentially have Mudslap. <laughs> Why am I afraid of Mudslap from a level 88 Mudkip? Why? Four times super effective moves just strike fear into your heart. It doesn't matter if they are the weakest move possible. They will always strike fear into you. If this is Delta, we can Giga Drain. If this is normal, we can Dazzle and Gleam. Win win. Sligoo, what kind of goo are you? You're a muddy goo. Okay, Giga Drain it is. That's probably the worst one for you. I'm sorry, Sligoo. Does that mean... No, no it doesn't. For some reason I was like, does that mean that there's a Mega Delta Gudra? That's not a thing. It's not a thing at all. I don't know why that popped into my head. I wish it was a thing. I just want everything to be Mega. <laughs> That's what's happening. I want every single Pokemon that pops up to be Mega. Onyx? Mega Onyx. No Steelix, Mega Onyx. Plot twist. Really weird to see. <laughs> and Tyrogue. Okay, not the most exciting of teams, to be honest, Dan. You're, you're kind of bad. I'm more excited for Steven. I'm very excited for Steven. And I'm also excited for whoever the leader is. I mean, I said I didn't think the leader was Steven, but maybe it is. I never expected Pokemon to say such things. You truly are a stellar trainer. I really hope you can get through all the timeless. Everyone else has been like, yeah, if you can beat me, you can beat the rest. And you're like, yeah, I hope. I hope you can do it. Wow. And Steven. Who wants to be in front? You know what? Glory, you can go in front. I'm going to heal you up, and we're going to put Glory in front. And I'm going to full heal. And... Do we just have a super potion so I don't have to waste more potions? I do! I do. Okay, we'll super potion you. Problem solved, let's go. Greetings, Carlos. My name is Steven. I was the champion of the Hoenn region before I faked my death and joined the Timeless. Understandable. It's been quite a ride. Hopefully I'm not too out of practice. I've been very excited about battling you. So let me see what you can do. Uh... Well, I've beaten every other member of the Timeless, so I have high hopes. Crocorock. Okay. We're neutral against each other in every way, every stab, so we'll just go for Dragon Claw and see what happens. We do get the Intimidate off, though, so this is in our favor. You are gone. Wow. That went really well. Kabalion wants to come in. That's a more powerful Pokemon. That's the Steven I know. Okay. How do we want to fight a Kabalion? With an Earthquake? That makes sense. Alright. Plus, it's a Steel-type, so it spits with his theme, which is even better. <laughs> this is where he just whips out Mega Kabalion out of nowhere. Please? I can hope, okay? I can hope and dream. I don't know, I just want to see a Mega that I haven't seen. If it was Mega Kabalion, I'd be so happy. It'd be so good. Doesn't take him out. Okay. I thought that was going to take him out. I'm going to power punch this time because Full Restore is going to come out. Look at me, smart enough to boost. I'm still debating whether it would be would have actually been bad to have Ice Punch or Ice Beam. I really don't think it would have. At any point, at any point, I don't think it would have been more useful. So, oh, you've made a mistake. You've miscalculated your defenses, Cabalion. Goodbye. It was it was a nice attempt. I respect the attempt. Not happening though. Lapras. Okay. Uh, we can go into reboot. Have we mega evolved Venusaur? No, we haven't brought Venusaur in. We're mega evolving. We're doing it. Reboot. Finish off the final member of the timeless. Sure. Let's go. Do we want to charge beam? Uh, no. We know two discharges takes him out. So, sure. I just don't want charge beam to miss. That's my only issue with the move. If the move was 100% accuracy, I'd click it all the time. They could drop the rate of special attack boosting to like 40%. But if it was 100% accurate, I'd use it so much more. I'd love it. It'd be my best move. Maybe not that one, but you know, it would be better. You can full restore again. We're going to skip this over because we know what's going to happen. We're going to use discharge again. It's all good. And then we're going to discharge and it's good. Lapras, get out of here. We've seen you before. You're not mega evolving. You're nothing new. You don't have a delta. Get out. Snow run. A again, you know, it's not gonna mega evolve, but it could be delta. I suppose. It's not a delta we haven't seen, but it could be delta. Which would add some spice to the team. I'm just judging all of their teams. That's all I'm doing. I'm just continuously judging their teams. Like, should you be in the time list? Should you really be here? So far, not many of them should be here. I'm curious to know what Pokemon they would have had. I might honestly look it up. I don't know. 
and Gyarados. That's probably gonna be the Mega. And if I'm expecting it to be the Mega, do I really want to go to Reboot? When I could go into Ivysaur. It's still probably better to go into Reboot. We'll go into Reboot. It's probably the smarter option. Just in case it isn't Mega, it's almost certainly Mega. There's two Pokemon left. Hello? 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 What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, Steven? Steven, where did you get that? Steven, hello? Steven, give me? Give me. Steven, we need to talk, okay? You know, we need to, we need to do a trade. You wanna do a trade, Steven? I want it. I want it. I want that big old red shrimp, okay? I need it. I need it. Now. Gimme. It's living. Please don't earthquake. Please don't earthquake. Crunch. We can live that. We can live that. It's not earthquake. I was so afraid of Earthquake. Okay. Oh. I don't know if there's actually, like, a trainer anywhere in the game that is scripted to have a shiny Mega Gyarados. Or if that is just random shiny chance taking into effect. I have no idea. But the fact that it was a shiny Mega Gyarados, pretty awesome nonetheless. Even if it's scripted into the game somewhere, still an awesome Pokemon to see. So that's awesome. And again, Scum Tank, we can just go ahead, go for the Earthquake, and round up this battle. That, that single-handedly made up for the rest of them being kind of bad, in my mind. Plus, we still have the leader to go, which could be kind of exciting. Or it could be a huge flop, and he could have five Weedles. That'd be exciting in its own way, though. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny in its own way. But, you get the point. Now I'm sitting here hoping he has five Weedles. Okay, great, great. Now I can't get that out of my mind. Wonderful. <laughs> five Weedle team incoming. Simply spectacular. Wow, you're fantastic. I'm sure if you took Brendan's place. Brendan? Oh, you mean that because- Okay, I thought Brendan was the leader. Is Brendan the leader? Brendan would be a really weird leader. Oh, I know who's the leader. There's no way- Is there two leaders? This is a theory, right? Red and blue. Neither of them are here. Nothing from Gen 1, in fact. Nothing from Gen 1 at all. So... Maybe the leader is like the Gen 1 Brigade. Like Red, Blue, Misty, and Brock. That'd be kind of interesting. <laughs> Pro probably Red and Blue, though. One of those two. I'm sure if you took Brenda's place, you could have easily become the champion of the Hoenn region, too. Well, yeah, you you were the champion. I would have had to beat you. Yes, I could have. That we know that. The doors to our leader should open now. I wish you luck in facing him. Okay, well, let's heal everyone up. Let's get ready for this. Uh, we can go ahead full heal. We have no one to full heal. We just need to use our hyper potions. Okay. I'm kind of excited for this. All right, where was the door to the leader? Was it up here? This one? Well, let's go. Let's get into this. The leader is going to be. Yeah, that's red. Okay, I can't say I'm particularly surprised. I'm not surprised. Red, blue, green. Is, is Green going to be here? Or Leaf or whatever her name was? Was it Leaf? I don't know. Either way, Red. No words. No words. No words. When designing a game, he must be the easiest to write lines for. Just like, just don't make him say anything. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, problem solved. Float Soul comes in though. Level 97. Oh. 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 Oh, 97. Okay, we're gonna go for Dragon Claw. We have speed, which is something. Do you have anything crazy? Hydro Pump. I was a little bit afraid of Ice Punch or Ice Beam. Doesn't have those, we're good. I suppose we... We have sped, right? So we're just Dragon Claw. No reason to waste extreme speeds if we have speed already. No reason at all. We only have three of them. I would like to keep them. Probably should have PP up them, but it's all good. We must go for Dragon Claw. Floatzel goes down. This? He's gonna hit level 100. He's gonna do it. The absolute madman is gonna do it. Sizzle wants to come in. If this is Delta Sizzle, which I'm assuming it is because it's being brought in against a Dragon type and Normal type, 
Whereas it wouldn't really make sense to bring a normal scissor in. I guess it kind of would. The problem is I don't know what scissor it is. If I knew for a fact it was a normal scissor, I'd stay in. I'm gonna stay in and assume it's a normal scissor. I knew- I know it wasn't. I know- I knew. I knew! Why would he bring it in if it was a normal scissor? Right, we're going into Ivy. Ivy, you need to take moves right now. Because ice is scary. Oh no. 93. 97 was the Pikachu. Got it. Okay. Um. I'm scared. Close combat. That's good. That's super good. Four, four, four times resisted move? That did a sizable amount. Alright, we are Mega Evolving. I want to Mega Evolve Reboot, yes, but I really need the defense right now, so we're going to Mega Evolve Moonblast. Because he is an ice fighting type, so this is super effective. We should be able to live any move. Icicle Crash is scary, because he'll outspeed, probably. He doesn't outspeed, never mind. Well, okay. Um, bye. Bye. Bye, Sizzler. Bye, it was nice knowing you. Sorry, you're slow. Um, wow. Wow. Like, my defense was just gonna be going into Reboot, because Reboot would probably outspeed and Flash Cannon, but I didn't need to. So, that's kind of good. Against Nido King, though, we can Earthquake. It's good old Earthquake. It's a move that you can just always rely on. It's such a reliable move. Stop. Where are my files going? Where are these sprites going? Are they just disappearing as the game continues? What is this? Come back! Come back, files! What do you mean? <laughs> what, what is this? Either way, uh, Invisible Nidoking goes down. Maybe more and more Pokemon are being converted into ninjas by something. Maybe that happened. I don't know. I believe it. I believe it. Yanma wants to come in, though. Yanma? 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 That's the Pokemon you bring in? Yanma? Okay, sure. What kind of Yanma? Not Delta Yanma. Disappointing. Hurt by Black Sludge immediately. And Charge Beam is 100% gonna take this out. Give me that boost. Give me it. Give me the boost. Yeah, there we go. Rebu gets the boost. Okay. It's like having that ability Hubris, but not Charizard. Um... I kind of want to stay in, but I know I really shouldn't. <laughs> like, I want to, because I want to just bop it real quick, but at the same time, I really shouldn't. Red still has a normal Charizard. That would actually be in his original team, I'm pretty sure. So it's kind of nice that he has one original member. It's a shame it isn't the Pikachu in a way. <laughs> Imagine if the Pikachu was still just level 97. Just this ordinary Pikachu. Just keeps everything as it was. It'd probably have, like, a really stupid moveset, though, so actually, you know, never mind. It'd have, like, Thundershock, rather than Bolt Tackle, and it would do 5 damage. So actually, terrible idea. And the final Pokémon is going to be Pidgeot. Is that...? No, that's not on his original team, right? No, that's on Blue's original team. Yeah. Okay, either way, Pidgeot, nothing too crazy. This could... could be Delta. Which would make it a dragon type. But we've already seen this Mega. So we know this isn't Mega Pidgeot. And let's see, it's two Megas. It is an ordinary Pidgeot. Okay. Not the. This final two Pokemon was so ordinary, it's weird. It just felt like such ordinary Pokemon for this spot. Like normally when you're fighting red and blue, those Pokemon are what to expect. It's just weird to me. Uh, he actually uses a full store, which gives me a chance to get the paralysis right here. Or to potentially one shot if I got a low roll. So he might have just made this easier. Paralysis? No paralysis, okay. You're gonna full restore again. You are another chance for us to potentially crit, high roll, or paralyze. Sure. Sure. Why not? And he's wasting his tailwind turns. Don't that really matters. And there is the high roll that I mentioned before. Well. There we go, we've defeated Timeless Trainer Red, the leader, I believe. Alright. What now? Because you're not going to say anything. Oh? 
Biz, 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 biz. Hey, Carlos, it's Onion. Onion? Onion. Okay. Please tell me why you're here. We need to talk. What? Did I read that wrong? Maybe. I need your help. It's about Reshiram. Please, please, please come to my gym. The one in Suntouch City. Hurry, I remember where you are, Onion. Dang. What do you mean? Where are my crystals, though? Congratulations, Carlos. You've beaten all of us. The strongest trainers in history. And, because of that, we feel you'd be the best person to protect this region with us. I want to grant you the title of Augur. The third Augur. The new protector of the region. Congratulations. Obviously, this gives you a responsibility. Oh, no, not responsibilities. But nothing you aren't already doing. Oh, that's okay, then. But now, there's so many people to help. For example, the people at the Scientists' Club would love your assistance. They exist still? Wow, I thought they died. Okay. Perhaps somebody in Dayron Town or the Nightmare Realm would have something for you. I'll try and remember that. Okay, we'll see. And you'll definitely get calls from time to time from your friends asking for your aid. And I'd like to entrust you with these. Crystal pieces. So if I take Arceus out now, I have a Dragon Normal, Omega Primal, Mega Super Ultra Arceus? Yes. I think they'll be safest in your hands. But I want to reiterate again. The region is now an open door to you. Explore. Exploring will be rewarded. A keen eye could be rewarded with a battle frontier, quests, and a whole new region to explore. Oh my. Good luck, Carlos, and thank you. Okay. Well, that seems like as a good a place to round off for now as any. Next episode, we will go ahead and continue with Onion and Suntouch City, as he seemed pretty important with that call. That's probably where the quest is going to take us next. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!